If I could describe BCC in one word, I think it would have to be opportunity. And I know that's a bit of a cliche because we think about educational opportunities for thousands of students that have come through here and the cultural opportunities that the community has been offered through our art center and theater program. I've been thinking about this and I think the word that I would like to use is um, sustaining. Okay, so I think BCC is many things to many people, but it does play a role of sustaining our intellectual curiosity. It plays a role in sustaining the growth of education here in this area where we need it so much. Compassionate, caring. Um, BCC reaches out to the the community, students, staff, with all the um, the the dinners, the barbecues. Um, they're always there when personal disaster strikes uh, and, and the happy times too. If I were to have to describe BCC in one word, I would say opportunity. I've been thinking about this for a while, but I started here in 1978, which means in September it'll be 36 years, and I started with the Educational Opportunity Center over on Durfee Street which gives a whole lot of students, did give a whole lot of students, a whole lot of opportunity. Amazing. It's amazing for the students because they have incredible opportunities here at BCC. And it's been amazing working with wonderful people. To me, BCC, for me, was a gateway because I was working in a factory uh, when I was very young and then I heard about there was a program in which they told me, called bilingual secretary, in which I came, who were very, very intensive, and to me it changed my whole life. So to me it was a gateway for a better future. Satisfying. It's a satisfying job knowing that you're helping people to move along in life. The word that comes to mind for me when I think of Debbie Lawton is versatility. And I say that because I've known Debbie for as long as I've worked here at the college and I've been in the same position, but she's worked in a lot of different capacities here at the college. Uh, and she was always my go-to person to help me find students if I had reporters interested in uh, sp speaking to students and uh, she was somebody who uh, could be counted on to do committee work, all sorts of things that I could count on her. When I think of Diane, I think of the Duracell Bunny because she keeps going and going and going and going. I have to say, uh, hilarious, um, her sense of humor, remarkable, sometimes on the dangerous side, but always funny. Um, there are other ways as well. She's remarkably hardworking. Uh, and a tremendous colleague. Well, trying to think of one word uh, to describe Helen is kind of hard. I think there are many words, but probably uh, she has a heart uh, full of uh, the world kind of thing, and she uh, really brings that to um, all the things that she did here in the program. Loyalty, commitment, hard work, and passion. Think of Bill as being thoughtful. Uh, when his colleagues are either sick or in the hospital he goes and visits. The first few days at every job was sink or swim. You know, I was kind of thrown into the pool. And I, to give you an example, when I started teaching here, somebody had left mid-semester and I was called in for an interview I think probably because I lived the closest of all the people that had put in applications. <laughs> I don't know, but Jules and Alan Powers, Jules Reichabush, took me down to China Royal for an interview. And the next day they called and said, come, came in, come in and get your, your book and your roster. You're going to be teaching. And that was it. I mean, that was a Monday, and I was in the classroom on Wednesday. My favorite part of the job was um, actually learning about the many, many different issues that community colleges address. So I had um, a wild ride to learn about so many different things that I didn't know about before coming to BCC. In, um, in 1999, I was approached by Penny Hahn, who was the associate academic dean at the time 
and she had this um, plan where Colleen Vickery and I would, who both shared the same title, uh, the same position, um, would switch jobs. Colleen always wanted, she worked in administration and I worked in, as a division, divisional assistant. And she wanted to work in the divisions and I really wanted to come over to the administrative area. So one day we just packed up our personal belongings and switched desks and I've been here for 14 years now and she's been in that position for 14 years and we both still believe it was a really good idea. So uh, we're enjoying it and since then I've worked for six academic deans, uh, CAOs, um, in this position and, and enjoyed it. I think my favorite part of the job has always been the students and um, the, the major reason for that I guess is because I am most comfortable um, with working with young people. I didn't realize that until I was here working with young people and when I started I was a young people myself. Um, but uh, I found that even over the years as, as, as I've wizened, I've still had that opportunity to work with those young people. and. Um, I think I've helped them wise up a little and I, I think they've kept me young. My job as counselor has been full of stories. <laughs> but uh, overall, if you, when we go to the um, graduation for our students in adult education, adult basic education, they share their personal stories. And uh, it's very uplifting. Dealing with students from all walks of life and they with questions or, or to help helping students. That was the best part of my job, was to help students. Uh, beginning of this past spring semester, a girl was walking in the hall in, my, in the E-building where I work, and I asked if I could help her and she was looking for a chemistry class. Well, I just come out of the chemistry room so I know there was no chemistry class. So her, I, I took her over to enrollment center and it was seven o'clock. Believe it or not, the, the girls over there are fabulous. They all stayed and they helped me help her look up and find out why she didn't have a class that night. Uh, Deb had uh, become an English faculty professor and, uh, and I was the new dean and, um, and she became my mentor and uh, and she would always open the door and uh, say hello smiling and listening and uh, and after a few weeks I was thinking about this woman is an incredible ESL instructor she's scaffolding what I'm learning she gave me one little thing each week to learn she's great something about Marianne that I will always remember is when we were working on Title III, she was uh, leading the effort to design Title III at the same time that I was working with the committee to develop the new strategic plan. And even though we were working entirely separately, the, both the strategic plan and the Title III came up with the exact same directions, the exact same um, priorities that the college needed to pay attention to. And I was just so excited about the serendipity of that. Well, she was our first, uh, she was the first president of the Faculty Professional Staff Senate. She was a real pioneer uh, and uh, led the way. She created the mold. Uh, she's, uh, I, I remember those early emails that came out while she was president. Long emails, uh, sort of uh, keeping us all in touch with what was going on. It was a, tr it required a tremendous amount of work, but she was, she was so good and so diligent at it. Uh, it was a real model. One of the things she did for the program each year when election times would come around, it would be to create the ballot box. So <laughs> she'd go all out and create a, a beautiful ballot box that the students could do a mock election. I remember that she's always ready and willing to work and make everybody's work easier. His experience and the relationship that he has with the people in his building. What I'll miss about my colleagues is what I appreciate about them and that's the generosity. And it's a generosity not only with their uh, ability to share their work and their time and their energy, um, but it's a generosity of spirit. I will always treasure the, um, the 
warmth of BCC and the people I've met here and the sense of commitment that people have, whether they're students who are committing to their futures and they inspire me so much. I, you know, I just feel um, fortunate to have been in a place to observe um, the learning and the growth of students. And I really enjoyed working here and um, goodbye, it was fun. And I think I'll always remember how generous my colleagues are with their time and with themselves. The tremendous professionalism and cooperation that I have always felt and I know others have always felt within the department, within Duval Street, um, the Workforce Institute here and also across the board. Whenever we have needed uh, assistance from any of the other departments, they were right there to help. I've worked with so many different people, uh, supervisors, um, co-workers. They are so upbeat, so helpful. They've been wonderful. And retiring, um, it's like BCC was the second family to me. And when I retire and I look back, I will have no regrets. How fabulous most of them are. You know, you ask somebody to help you, there's no hesitation. It's, they're right there for you, you know. Yeah. No matter what you do, there's, there's always somebody there to help.